Hi everyone, it's Ali and welcome back to the Heffy Doodle YouTube channel. Thanks so much for joining me. Today I'm just going to do some really cute little backgrounds with an easy technique where you can use your small stamps in your sets to create a background and then use your sentiment or your die cut and a little sentiment as a feature on the front. So uh, this is the original card I made with the Treat Yourself set and I thought I would make another couple of similar cards using some of the images from the Treat Yourself set. But you can use um, one such as this Blooming Marvelous as well. If you're not into colouring, you can use these solid type stamps. And I also thought the little aliens from the Your Weird set would be fabulous to use in this technique and just use a few of them across the background of the card. So I use uh, acrylic blocks for this technique. I just find it's a bit quicker and uh, easier to have separate acrylic blocks for each stamp and then my memento tuxedo black ink because I'm going to Copic color the images later on and then I just go through one at a time and stamp the stamps repeatedly across the background so it's really actually quick probably the most time is often spent on coloring depending on the images that you choose um, and like I said you could use solid stamps if you wanted to to cut down the coloring and just use your colored inks um, to stamp them up in a similar way so just going through and finishing off trying to make that as random looking as possible um, this one is the watermelon card and this one's pretty quick was pretty quick and easy to color because it's just the same image repeated so I didn't really need a lot of um, Copic's Copic colors so the Copic colors I've used are on screen and as I said I just did it in a little bit of a batch so I went in with my darkest color first and then went over with my lighter color as well I really like that R24 color which is that really light red or that watermelon pink sort of color and then i'm just doing the um the watermelon rind with a couple of my greens as well varying from a dark green and a light green to make it look a bit a bit more interesting uh, so that was that was quite a quick card and yeah i'd recommend if you just wanted to make the process a lot quicker use a re the same stamp repeated and it still looks really fabulous now these are some of the options i use for my white highlights the um it's either sign or signal i'm not sure which way you would pronounce it um and i just use those to create that shine um, on some things I don't overuse the white pen I'm not a fan of the using it on everything it's really just on things that are wet or shiny that I like to highlight little areas um, and yeah so I use them occasionally so that's the watermelon one all done I just love those little faces on the um, on the images they're so cute and then I've used similar colors the similar reds to color in um, the chips on the hamburger and uh, chip and hot dog card and then some nice browns um, to color in the buns and things like that on there so that coloring did take a little bit longer just because there's a few more colors involved now I'm going to cut them down a little to put on the front of a card using my stitch rectangle dies, my metric ones, and they fit really well on the front of my um, sort of, I use European size cards. So I'm just going to die cut that one and I backed it with some green paper as well, just a green card just to bring out the colors. Now I've put a piece of vellum on and I decided to use circles to reflect the shapes that were in my two new cards. So I've cut a circle of vellum and then I've picked a couple of die cuts, cut them out in black card and adhered them onto the front of the vellum. I haven't stuck the vellum to the card yet because I want to um, put my adhesive behind uh, my sentiments and my die cuts so I'm just sticking them on first and then I'll adhere the whole thing to the front of the card so again I'm just using my multi-liner to go over any little patches of white um, embossing powder that were went astray and I've also just used a corner rounder just to make them a little bit different and I've reflected the shape so in a hamburger by corner rounding the top of the hay card and then the bottom of the thanks card I guess kind of reflects the curve of a, the bottom of the curve of the watermelon so I just thought that was something a little bit different give it a little bit more interest than the normal square um, sentiment shape and just adhering those on 
to the front of the card and they are the three cards so you can mass produce these they're quite easy to do oh and i just wanted to also let you know that i used a silver glitter pen on the original card and you can see the little spots of and it came up really pretty when you can catch the light to show the silver glitter i used that silver glitter pen and the white gel pen and there's a close up of the watermelon card and then the hamburger and chips and hot dog card so i hope you enjoyed the video and it gives you some ideas of how you can use some of your smaller images a lot more and i'll see you next time